Beloved, do not be surprised at a fiery ordeal among you, which comes upon you for your testing, as though some strange things were happening to you. But to the degree that you share the sufferings of Christ, keep on rejoicing, so that also the revelation of His glory to you may rejoice with exultation. If you are reviled for the name of Christ, you are blessed because of the spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. By no means let any of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer, as a troublesome or a meddler. But if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not feel ashamed, but in the name of him glorify Elohim, Jehovah. Verse 17, for it is time for judgment to begin with the household of Jehovah. Yeah. And if it begins with us first, what will the outcome be for those who do not obey the gospel? As we were praying a minute ago, it just it hit me why it has to start with us. Because as long as we tolerate sin in our lives, we will never make a stand for the world and their sake. Because as long as we're continuing to tolerate sin, we're not going to tell our children, no, you can't have those books. No, you can't watch those movies. No, you can't do those things. Because we're still dealing with so much sin in our own life, we can't make a stand. Today's the day to lay it on the altar. And I know some of you are saying, well, Daniel, I've laid it down a hundred times. Today's the day to be a hundred and one. I don't know about you, but I want to make a stand more than I've ever made before in my life. We don't have time not to make a stand. It's the truth. It's the truth. We don't have time to say, well, it's going to be okay. Because if you continue to say that, your loved ones are going to die and go to hell. It's time for judgment to start with me. With you.